hi welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial we are looking at um the sum if function and also the sum ifs function now let's get right into it we got this table today to work with this is a sales table for pertaining to region and also sales person so the difference between the sum if and the sum ifs so we're using this first to look at the sum if so here we have just one criteria to determine the sum of each quarter like for the quarter one and also for the quarter two this is our criteria but for the sum ifs we're going to be using two criteria so some ifs are for two or more criteria so we're going to be using the region and the sales person to determine the sales for quarter one and also the sales for quarter two now let's get right into it so we start using um the sum if first so equal to some if that is it there so some if the first range is your criteria range so we go to our criteria range um, we're using the region so we pick the column c now remember that whenever you're picking your range you have to lock it so just tap your f4 on your keyboard or function f4 as it pertains to your keyboard so let's move on to the formula bar to make it easier and faster so some if our criteria range we've picked it this is region and we click comma so the next thing there is the criteria what's your criteria there's a criteria there which is not now remember that this not our criteria is on column h so we have to lock h so you just tap your f4 like three times you lock your h or you can just put the dollar sign so the dollar sign means we're locking our formula onto this column h so next next is our sum range our sum range we're focusing on quarter one for now so we'll pick our we we'll pick our range which is column d here remember range are always locked so we lock our range and we enclose that thereafter we tap enter so this is our sales for not in quarter one so we can just check it out so this is not six thousand and um this, this is not again so that's eleven thousand and this is not again that is thirteen five and this is not again so that makes up seventeen thousand four hundred so we just drag that down to auto fill for the others and we do the same thing for quarter two so equal to you can try and do it on your own without looking then try and see if you got it so we're working with some if right now remember first thing is a criteria range so our criteria is the not is the region so we go to the range remember you lock your range by tapping f4 on your keyboard and the next thing is the criteria our criteria here is the not so remember we are working with column h so let's lock that to column h by tapping your keyboard three times so we lock column h by tapping <laughs> f4 three times and next is our sum range our sum range now is column e so we want to determine the sales for column e remember your range you lock your range and you enclose that and you tap enter so we expand that so this is our sales quarter two sales for knots let's wait to confirm that so this is not this is seven thousand this is nine thousand and this is um that's nine thousand this is twelve five and this is fifteen four i think so yes so let's drag that down and you can see fastest way to check that is just you can just sum up check your keyboard like i'm checking now i'm having 77200 so let's see if this gives 77200 we can just do auto sum from here and we tap that so that's 77200 so we are correct so that is how you do your sum if you use your sum if function now let's get right into our sum ifs function where we have two or more criteria so you start with equal to some ifs so for the sum ifs the sum range comes first the sum if the criteria range comes first always remember that so for the sum ifs sum range is our 
column D here. Remember to lock your range. And next, the criteria range now. Our criteria range, you can start from any of the criteria. So but let's start from region. Our criteria range now is column C. So we lock that. Remember by locking that, you tap the F4 on your keyboard. Then the next is our criteria our criteria down here so what's your criteria our criteria here is not remember to lock it to the column because we're working with the column you lock that that means the dollar sign has to be at the back of h because the number represents the rows so you lock that let's move on to the formula bar to make it easier so next we put the comma there so the next thing is our second criteria you can see so criteria two is our salesperson which is our column b the range is in column b we lock that always lock your range is very important so the next is um our criteria two our criteria two is um the person the salesperson so we lock it we lock now to um column i so let's lock it to column i which is tapping your f4 three times and if you have more if you have more criteria you keep on adding maybe you have dates or weeks and all the stuff then since we don't have more criteria we take out the last comma and we enclose the brackets and we tap enter so this is it we drag it down as you can see so this is the sales for when you put to confirm that your formula after actually your autofill is correct you click on the results then you click on the formula bar you see what it has picked you can see it picked this and this and these are the arranged which is correct so I skip that so we do the next thing for um, sales quarter two put equal to some ifs so first is our sum range. So our sum range now, remember it's sales quarter two is column E. So we lock our range by tapping F4 once. Then that's comma. The next thing is our criteria range. So our criteria range, you can either, this time around, let's start from the salesperson. So let's start from the salesperson, which is column B. And we lock that by tapping F4 once and the criteria one our criteria remember the salesperson so we pick the first salesperson and we lock that to the column because they are all on the column they are not on the rows they are on the column so we lock that to the column we make the dollar sign to be at the back of the alphabet which is tapping your f4 or function f4 three times on your keyboard then the next thing is let's move to the formula bar to make it easier the second criteria range criteria range two is our region now so we lock our range and we put comma and the next thing now is our criteria criteria now is the north and we lock that to the column because they are all in the column by tapping your f4 or function f4 three times the dollar sign has to be at back, back of the alphabet because columns are alphabet rows are numbers and that is all we enclose the brackets and we tap enter and that is it like i said you can decide to confirm this for this one since it's south and it's mary it's very pe peculiar to mary so let's look for south and mary so this is mary one we have another mary this is another mary we only have two mary and for sales for quarter one so mary for quarter one this is four thousand this is four five that's eight five um, do we have another Mary? Yes. So that's 8.5 plus another 8,000. That's 16.5. And for quarter two for Mary, we have 8.2. And we have 5,000. That is um, 13.2. And we have another Mary. That's 18.7, which is correct. So that is how you work with the sum if and the sum ifs function. Hope this was very clear if you have any question please drop it in the comment section i will try my best to answer them on time please do well to go over and over again if you need to thank you so much for watching do well to subscribe like and share thank you see you guys bye